Franco's regime. 1973, powerful explosives planted by ITA in Madrid killed Franco's right hand and prime minister, Luis Carrero, Carrero Blanco, as he returns from attending daily mass. 1974, 12 people die in a bomb attack on a Madrid cafe. 1975, Franco dies on November 20th. 1980, as Spain returns to democracy, it kills nearly 100 people, making 1980 the deadliest year in more than four decades of violent campaign. 1983, Members of Spain's security forces established anti-terrorist liberation groups, or GAL, in an effort to fight ITA and undermine its support, supporters. 1986, 12 civil guard officers die in Madrid, and 50 more people are wounded in a car bomb attack in Madrid. Later that year, ITA also kills one of its own, former leader Dolores Gonzalez Catherine, who had left the militant group to start a new life. 1987, in Ita's bloodiest attack, bombs in the parking lot of a shopping center in Barcelona killed 21 people and injured 45. 1989, Ita declares its first ceasefire and engages in peace talks in Algiers with the Spanish Socialist government. But the militant group breaks the negotiation by killing a civil guard officer. Central authorities begin the so-called dispersal policy that sends imprisoned militants to prisons scattered across Spain with the goal of weakening its support network. 1992, the militant group suffers a major blow with the, with the arrest of most of its leaders in southern France. 1996, Francisco Thomas and Valiente, former president of Spain's constitutional court, shot and killed at the Autonomous University, Madrid. 1997, Jose Otterga Lara, a Spanish prison worker, regains freedom after 532 days of kidnapping, the longest in Italy's history. Shortly after, the organization kidnaps Miguel Angel Blanco, a young conservative councillor in the town of Eumua, and kills him after the government fails to meet the 48-hour deadline for transferring all ITA militants in custody to prisons in the Basque country. The widespread protests in the wake of Blanco's assassination are considered a tipping point in the social opposition to ITA both in and outside the Basque country. 1998, a new ITA truce before a regional election ends the following year after a fair dialogue with the conservative government of Jose Maria Aznar. 2000 and in 2000, Ita Commando shuts and kills former socialist health minister Ernest Lucha in Barcelona. In 2002, a new law on political parties leads to a ban on Batasuna, a Basque separatist party, for eight repeated support for Ita's violence. 2004, bombs planted in Madrid by Al Qaeda inspired extremes killed 191 on March 11th, three days before a general election. The government, which initially blames the attacks on ITA, loses the election to the separatists led by Jose Luis Rodrigo Zapatero. 2006, a third ceasefire is declared while Basque politicians hold secret peace negotiation, negotiations involving the future of Increasing Basque military. Peter breaks the truth with a car filled with bombs exploding in the parking lot of Madrid airport, killing two Equatorian citizens. 2008, police arrest in southern France. Peter suspected operational leader. 2010, a French police officer is shot dead near Paris by militants fleeing after a car robbery, becoming its last deadly victim in Arto. The political reincarnation of Bastasuna publicly rejects violence for the first time. 2011, a civil society-led 
International Peace Conference in San Sebastian calls for ITA to declare a definitive ceasefire of its armed activity, which comes on October 20th, with the group declaring the definitive end to its terrorism. Spanish officials say ITA is believed to have less than 50 members. 2017, ITA declares itself officially disarmed after handing over to French authorities dozens of weapons, ammunition, and explosives. Spanish authorities demand for ITA to disband. 2018, in a letter to a Spanish newspaper published May 2nd, ITA says it has dissolved all its structures. The announcement comes less than two weeks after the group offered an unprecedented apology that victims, their relatives, the Spanish and the Basque government say it's too late and insincere. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.